They are called avatars, electronic personae that we present to the world in cyberspace. A chance for people to reinvent themselves virtually in an instant. For some reason, I always pick really short people. Sometimes I choose to look like a really like fun and bubbly character. Sometimes I decide I want to look like, you know, very serious. But could our avatars actually change us? Jeremy Balinson thinks so. With support from the National Science Foundation, he has created the Virtual Human Interaction Lab at Stanford University to study the power avatars exert on their real-world masters. You can be 10 years younger, you can swap your gender, you can be uh, 30 pounds heavier or lighter. Any behavior or appearance you can imagine, you can uh, transform your avatar to embody. And there's a lot of evidence that once you see it, you start to become the idealized person you imagine. For example, I use algorithms to age a 20-year-old undergraduate, and then I give that undergraduate the opportunity to save money or to spend it frivolously. Uh, the undergraduate will put more money in savings as opposed to go out and spending it on uh, partying. It may also affect your fitness. In this test, a woman wears a head-mounted display as she runs in place. Her avatar runs too, and visibly loses weight. When she stands still, the avatar stops and gets fatter. As you might suspect, it is important that the avatar resemble its creator. 24 hours later, people exercise more after being exposed to watching the self run than watching someone else run. As it turns out, we tend to prefer others who resemble us. The researchers reached that conclusion in 2004 when they subtly morphed students' faces with those of the presidential candidates. Those students favored the hybrid candidate that included their own features. It's very powerful stuff. In a world where I can make myself look more like you, how does that affect uh, my ability to influence you? Balinson believes avatars will soon play an even bigger role in our lives online. How we shape our own avatar and how we interact with others could have profound influences on our behavior. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.